John Fitcher here with mobilehomeinvesting.net and I want to make a quick fun video for you about what a mobile home uh, park tornado shelter looks like inside of a mobile home park. Uh, this is a mobile home park that's plus 100 units, so that's why this place is so big. Uh, there's the little dog to scale, but you can fit, you know, well over 100 people in here. It wouldn't be comfortable. Right here is where uh, a pump is to keep the water going out. But if you look at this place, there's one little layer of aluminum. Uh, this, you know, the, the trusses here do not look like anything special. This would be really scary to be in. This place is uh, built over 50 years ago. Um, it's never been tested by tornadoes. They have a bunch of different tornado shelters out there for mobile homes, some really cool. Really quickly, I wanna pause this video to show you a couple different options. If you have a manufactured home or a mobile home, what you can use or have for a mobile home a tornado or storm shelter. This is from the Home Depot. And this is probably if you have your own piece of land, because what you have to do is bury all of the brown part you see here underground. And then right here, this green lid is exposed um, up in the surfaces that's where you climb in and then of course can sit on these benches almost four thousand dollars this would be again if you probably had your own piece of land here's something possibly for a mobile home park where uh, right here you have this concrete structure not very big only four feet high you get in from the top here and it's actually doubles as the steps which is pretty cool or part of the decking here uh, but you would just climb right in again only four feet uh, or a little over four feet so might get kind of claustrophobic here's a something called a twister pod uh, from a company survive a storm I'm not plugging them but uh, seems like a uh, an, an option for sure this would be bolted down to the ground uh, and then you'd stand in the twister pod until the, the storm passes and you have this I think is pretty cool a couple different versions of storm steps exist for mobile homes in parks or on private land but in parks this would be good if the park didn't have anything but they definitely should where you climb inside the side of the uh, stairs or the, this front part the whole steps just lift up and you climb in again these aren't very big um, but they would you know house a family of four and some pets you know it'd be it'd be cramped in there but certainly better than standing uh, on the outside with the storm coming and then you see you have these anchors down here which we I are underground right now the trusses look pretty average it has lights it has the breaker box it has the pump uh, nothing else to do no games no activities uh, hopefully you don't have to be in here long i've never been in a tornado nor do i want to we're kind of hidden where we are there's a nice little vent but I'd have to imagine it would just be so loud in there. I mean, even my talking and even that pump going is just, you know, already kind of loud. Uh, outside, nothing special. You can see we can, we kind of walk down those steps and then uh, actually coming right out here, these two by fours just continue. And then you have this little awning area, which actually might be a liability if, uh, you know, if the wind was ripping up. We do keep this door locked most of the time unless there's a storm or it's storm season. And then again, just, basic construction there's the inside of the you know inside right there uh, but pretty decent so I hope that was fun for you if you have any questions or concerns uh, please don't hesitate to reach out